Good morning, everybody. It is 728 right now. Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here. And, you know, we tell you uh, often about some various organizations that are in town that do some really important things. But I bet you there's one that is in town that you may not have heard about and something that is going on, which, to be honest with you, Jackie, I never really thought about until this morning when we just so we found out we we're going to be talking to Lynn Vandenberg. Uh, she's with an organization that deals with helping give child or children beds and I didn't realize that was a problem. Yeah, sleep in heavenly peace. We're all going to be in a competitive spirit. I feel like on Saturday, right? Let's right. use some of that energy and help create beds for kids and also provide bedding or donations. Lynn, tell us about this amazing organization that you and your son brought here to Iowa. Well, it was founded in 2012 out in Idaho, and since then chapters has, have spread across the country. There are now more than 170 chapters in almost every state. Um, but we found out about it about a year ago. My son went to do the training to start the chapter here in Des Moines because there was only at that time one chapter in Iowa that was in Cedar Rapids. Okay. And this is called what, child bedlessness? Child bedlessness. We often think about how lots of families don't have enough food or enough medical right. care. And we hear that all the time. It never occurred to me and it only makes sense. If you're a family that's struggling, providing a bed is sort of a big ticket item. So it's at the bottom of the list of things to be able to do. Wow. Let, let's talk numbers because you guys have been through the process of, of learning across the nation, but also here locally. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that look like? How many kids are actually sleeping at night, maybe on a floor instead oh of goodness. on a bed? They, we project that two to three percent of any given population represents children that don't have beds of their own. And really, our, our mission statement is no kid sleeps on the floor in our town. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to address that because we firmly believe that every child deserves to have their own bed. Without question. It's, so they're sleeping on the floors or on couches or where else? Or several kids on a mattress on the floor sleeping together, which is kind of a crowded situation. An air mattress on the floor, very often on a pile of clothes on a their floor. A pile of clothes. And you've personally witnessed this here locally, because I feel like a lot of people oh. might hear about this and they say, that, that can't be That's here not around in here. Des Moines. Oh, it, I thought the same thing. This is the heartland of the country, right. that we have families that are struggling like this was surprising and saddening for me. Um, but yes, I have witnessed this. When we get a request for a bed, we get teams together to build the beds and we deliver the bed to the child. We go and we set it up. We enlist them to help as much as possible as is age appropriate. Um, we make the bed with all new bedding. So seeing those children realize that this is their brand new bed and it's theirs is just amazing. And getting a good night's sleep is essential. Uh, it is. Talk to any teacher or medical professional. Poor sleep is related to so many health issues, emotional, behavioral, their performance in school, even obesity. Wow. You said this organization started in Idaho, what, back in 2012. When did it Correct. get up and going around here? We had our first official build on Black Friday last year. My son said, instead of going and standing in line for a sale item, so come and November? help build a bed for a child. So we did that. That was the end of November. Mm -hmm. Since then, we have delivered beds to 122 children who had been sleeping on the floor. Unbelievable, but we also understand there's a waiting list. We have a humongous waiting list. Right now, it's about 130 children that don't have their own places. Wow. Tonight they're going to bed on a floor. Saturday we'd like to help build some more beds and get those to some of those Now kids. what kind of beds are we putting together here? What kind of beds are we building? You know, they're not fancy. They're out of two by fours. Anybody that wants to come and help doesn't have to have any woodworking experience whatsoever. We provide all the tools and the supervision and instruction. One of my favorite volunteer quotes is, if you can brush your teeth, you can run a sander. Oh, <laughs> perfect. And come help with this. We take uh, volunteers 12 and older, as long as they're accompanied, accompanied by an adult. But we're happy to have people come and help. And we build the component parts. We build the headboards and the side rails and stack those up. And then when we go to do the deliveries, we take those parts and go put them together in the home. Unbelievable. Okay, idea. so that's all taking place this Saturday. This Saturday. Okay, so where do we need to go and when? At the Lowe's at Jordan Creek. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have 
been so wonderful to host us and provide the lumber for this build. And it will be from nine o'clock in the morning till three in the afternoon. So for those of you that are, I guess there's some sort of sporting event this yeah. weekend. <laughs> Yeah, it starts one, yeah. about the time you're finishing, so don't worry about it. You get, Come you on get out. This in. <laughs> and That's why I said everyone has a competitive spirit, so <laughs> use that energy and uh, go build some beds. Absolutely. I love that idea. But we do encourage that they register in advance so you have an idea of who's coming and who can fill what shift. Yes, correct? so we know that we have enough tools and works bases for everyone. Okay, okay. go back to November real quick. Uh, how many beds were you able to build uh, the first time you got In, in November, together? we only built about 10. Okay, <laughs> just to get going. Just to get going. And then we had some, you know, build pieces and parts as we had time. But we like to get groups together. So we were at the home show in February and we had volunteers come down there. I think we built about 40, 45 beds oh my there. Goodness. Um, and we have another big build in June and hopefully as people are more aware of this we'll have more support and be able to have more builds and serve more children. Yeah and that's why we want to talk about it this right. morning to get as many people and awareness as possible but let's say I already have plans on Saturday but I love the mission of what you're talking about and I want to give back. What are some other ways we can help you guys? Well for people that don't feel up to building but right. would like to donate they can drop by Lowe's on Saturday between 9 and 3 and we'll have a bedding drive so okay. donations of new twin size bedding oh, okay pillows sheets mattress pads comforters those bed in a bag sets are great because everything's all in one for people that can't come out um, they can go to our Facebook page there's a donate button there mail us a check our address is on the Facebook page as well okay so every little bit helps whether you want to help physically build with your time whether you want to drop off some bedding for twin size uh, beds or you would just like to make a monetary donation we want to make sure no kid sleeps on the floor in our town Lynn why has this become such a passion for you and your family you know I have five children and when I think about all the tucking ins at night and realized how really sacred that time was, that they had their own bed. And it wasn't just that it was a place where they got better sleep than if they had been on the floor, but they had their favorite pillow and their favorite blanket. And we read the bedtime story and it was their own personal space. Mm -hmm. And it just touched me to think every child deserves to have that. And now I know that lots of children don't. And how can we, how can we fix that? Wow, mm -hmm. and how many uh, people's, how many uh, their names are on the list that you have right now? 130. 130. And I know that new as we are to the, to the Des Moines area, there are just so many families and agencies that don't know about us yet. Mm -hmm. um, so I know there are hundreds hundreds more children out there. Okay. All right, let's continue to spread the good word and the message. You can stop out at Lowe's over at Jordan Creek starting at 9 a.m. this Saturday until 3 p.m. We do encourage you uh, to register in advance if you're able to. S hpbeds.org. You can give them a call, 515-720-6204. Let them know if you're able to give a couple hours of your time. If not, you can drop off and donate some bedding or even just some monetary donations as well. Lynn, thank you so much for joining us today. Pleasure to be here. And please give us an update as how things went on Saturday. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, it is 737 and we will be right back.